Hey everyone, it is Melissa from Generation Studio and Shop and we are at part three of this uh, reviving this four drawer dresser that we've been working on all week. Um, I'm going to scooch back around um, the back of the dresser just so I can mix up some paint. Um, I apologize for not scheduling the live ahead of time but I wasn't quite sure how my day was going to unfold so hopefully you can just watch it on the flip side okay so let me get back behind this uh, four drawer dresser and we'll get to work. Um, so what I would like to start off with first off, I'm going to go a little in backwards here um, because I want to show you guys how to mix up the milk paint. It comes in, um, real milk paint comes in a powder form and it's usually one to one ratio, meaning if you use a quarter cup of the powder paint, you want to use a quarter cup of water. But you can also um, make it a little water, waterier if you uh, add more water to it. It acts as more of a stain than it does a paint. You also can make it thicker by putting less water in. So because I want my milk paint to set up a little bit before we start painting this piece today, um, I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. So um, the color that was chosen, by the way, for all of you that put in what you want it to see um, is the Riverstone color, which is, I should have brought this up front to show you, but this is the color that was chosen. It's more of a grayish. Um, you can see next to a gray, it just has a little bit more tan in there. I'm not sure the lighting, if you can see that or not. Um, so I'm really excited that that's the color that was chosen. Um, I think it's going to be beautiful, especially after we restain the top. So. I just have a plastic like mason jar here that we're going to mix it up in that way I can seal it because it has a lid in case I don't get it all finished today. Um, so we are going to start out and get in my gallon. I'm just going to take um, a quarter cup of the milk paint powder and put it in my cup. Actually let me do a little bit more than that because I think we'll need maybe just a little bit more than that. And you know what, there's no rhyme or reason. When you use the milk paint, you get used to the consistency that you want it. So you can add and subtract and just find your own way of what, what consistency you like to work with. So I added two scoops of milk paint, so now I'm gonna put two cups of water. And normally I, I like to put my water in first, but I wasn't sure how much this little container was gonna hold. Now, one thing with the real milk paint, every can that you get comes in powder form in a bag inside these great cans. And these cans have a snap on lid. If you've seen me do it before, they actually make a really good snap and they also come with a marble. So what that's for is to put the marble, you drop it right in, put your lid on, if you're using, I didn't want to mix up a whole gallon, so I didn't want to be shaking this big gallon and I don't need a whole gallon. So I just put it in there and all you do is shake it up. So you want to shake your paint. Just don't like doing the cha-cha or whatever that dance is. So we're just going to shake this. You normally want to shake it for about five minutes. Um, another thing that, um, just a little tip that I found from working with the Real Milk Paint, one of them, um, when you put the water in, I like to use warm water. You don't have to by any means, but I just feel that it gives it a creamier feel for some reason. It all could be in my head. So bear with me a little bit while I get this shaken up and I will show you the consistency of it. And I'm not gonna shake it for a full five minutes because I'm sure you guys don't wanna sit there watching me shake this for five minutes. Um, so let me go over what we've done so far. Um, we used the denatured alcohol and steel wool on the top of this piece. It is a piece of veneer, so using the denatured alcohol and steel wool, we took the finish off the top and it is now ready for um, a new stain. Um, I have not decided on that color yet. Maybe you guys could help me with that if you have a special stain uh, that you like and also that would go with the color Riverstone. Um, you guys could help me with that. So that was the first thing we did with this piece. The second thing we did was we scrubbed it. I used um, Crud Cutter Free Paint Cleaner and scrubbed it down really, really well. And then even though it said no rinse, I always rinse. 
Um, I won't get into that tangent, but <laughs> always make sure you rent your pieces. You don't want anything to act as a resist um, that your paint won't adhere to. If you're taking the time and the money putting in to redo a piece, you want it to last. Um, after that, I let the piece dry. I let it dry overnight and then came back in and sanded with 220 grit sandpaper. Um, and I did, well first I removed all the hardware and then I sanded it. Um, so we sanded it and just a scuff sand, nothing big, just a scuff sand to provide a little bit of tooth for the milk paint to adhere to. Okay, and um, then I wiped it down with a denatured alcohol and water mixture. I used about a 50-50 mixture. Again, I don't really measure. I can't get this lid off. Oh my goodness, I tightened it way too tight. How awful is that gonna be? Hold on, let me try. That thing is on there like you would not believe. I cannot believe I just did that. Okay, <laughs> live, live is not gonna happen today. I cannot believe that. Can you guys hold on while I go get a rubber glove and try to get that off of there? Give me one second, hold tight. Sorry guys, I, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this lid off of here. Um, nothing like watching an empty screen, right? Holy crackles. All right, let me see. I got it. <laughs> Shoo! And you get my white gloves in the mix. Look like Michael Jackson or something with my white gloves. <clears throat> All right, so, <laughs> sorry about that. That was really, that, I, I've never had a lid stick that hard before. I must have more muscles than what I, um, I thought. <clears throat> so here is the mixture. You might be able to see it better on there. So there's the color, and you can see how creamy of a consistency that has and it's the whole way through just like that so that is wonderful so I want to let this set up <clears throat> just a couple minutes and we're going to just start on the front of this piece so I'll pull you down a little bit um, so that's how easy it is to mix up paint now because this piece had a finish on it before I am going to add in just a little bit of ultra bond Whew. that running to get my gloves took my breath away um, now the ultra, <laughs> this might be a blooper video as much as problems as I'm having with getting things off. Now the ultra bond just helps the paint to adhere. I don't think we'd actually need it for this. Um, this milk paint adheres very, very well to pieces, but just because it did have that uh, varnish on it before, I'm not gonna take any chances. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. Um, there are directions on it that for about four ounces, you wanna put a half a cup I've never put that much on. I mean, I would go by the directions, but I do this with baking <laughs> all the time. I look at the directions and then I do it the way that works for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit in there <clears throat> of the Ultra Bond. And again, that is from the Real Milk Paint Company. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can get this lid stuck on there again. I put it on tight because I didn't want it flying everywhere and then it got stuck on there and I couldn't get it off. Holy mackerel, Melissa, what am I gonna do with myself here? So you just wanna add that to already mixed milk paint. Oh my goodness, let me get up here and see what's going on with everybody. Hey Maria, how are you? Hi Karen, good to see you. I put, I got it off, thanks. <laughs> my aunt's here helping today and um, I, I could not get the lid off of this. I put it on way too tight when I was mixing it. I had to run for my rubber gloves. So how are you guys doing? All right, so I have that all mixed up in there. And normally you'll want to let your milk paint sit for approximately 15 minutes just to incorporate the powder with the water. Um, I'll be totally honest with you. I love to mix mine up the night before and I love to put it in the refrigerator. Something about it just makes it have a creamy consistency and then I shake it up in the morning and I'm ready to paint. Now today I wanted to show you guys how to mix up the milk paint if you are new to milk paint. Um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and start with it. I don't think anything bad will happen with it not sitting for 15 minutes. It just won't incorporate as much as what I normally like it to. But like I said, mix it up the night before, put it in the fridge, shake it up the next morning. I mean, shake it up before you put it in the fridge, but then put it in your fridge and next morning you'll be ready to roll. So like I said, the color is Riverstone. So whoever chose Riverstone, you're up to win a little sample of the paint. So I'll be doing that shortly. Um, I'm not going to paint this whole piece in front of you um, because I don't think you guys want to hang with me that long. I would love to hang with you guys. I love when you join me, um, but I'm just going to start off. Now, most of the, the piece I'm going to be painting with a natural bristle brush. Um, this one is from the Real Milk Paint, but the natural bristle does really, really well with the milk paint. However, I'm going to go to my old standby for just cutting in a like up at the top of the edges and I'll pull you down then. Um, but I like a purdy clear cut Dale. It has, um, I do pinstriping with these. It has to be one of my favorite go to brushes. So let me see if I can pull you down here. So, and have my phone not come out of the holder, but we are going to go ahead and get started. Now you can see that this piece looks very, very dull right now, and that's because we cleaned it, we sanded it, and it's okay for it to look like this. I don't know if you can see, it almost looks like it's cloudy, and that's what you wanna look for to make sure that it's been done um, and it's ready to rock and roll, okay? I keep getting out of breath today. All right, so we're just gonna go in here, and I'm gonna cut in around the top here and you'll wanna load your brush just a little bit and knock some of it off. Can you guys see? I should say, could I see? <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna cut this in here because I just want you guys to see the color on the piece. I think it's going to be gorgeous when it's finished. I am so, I mean, I was happy with any of the six colors that I proposed. Um, but I'm really excited about this color um, of the Riverstone. Very, very excited. So since we're restaining the top, you wanna to be a little careful um, at the top, but it goes on very, very easily. Um, maybe what I'll do is do one of the drawers for you because that way you can see, see if I can do this by holding. <laughs> How am I gonna set this up, Karen? Are you still with me? Here, let me go this way. I'll set that in there. And can you guys see? You did vote for Riverstone, Karen, so your name is in my bucket. I'll pull you, pull a name out here in a, just a couple minutes, okay? Um, let me just show you at least one of these drawers, what the color is gonna look like. And I like to go with the grain. Isn't that going to be pretty? And then I'm thinking a really, really dark stain um, on top, but by all means, uh, hey, feel free to give me your what your color choices for stain would be on the top. Um, and I will take that into consideration. I don't carry um, like Minwax stain or anything here to give you a free one, but, <laughs> but I'd be happy to... Uh, Happy to take your suggestions. So we're just gonna come down there like that. And I didn't even grab my other brush. As you can see, milk paint, you can use any brush with it and it just goes on beautifully. Um, and this was a nice consistency. And I did this one-to-one. Uh, -one. Like I said, it, even if you mix up a little bit for like a, a small project, um, like our sample, um, that I'll be giving away is only a couple, maybe a couple tablespoons, and it's enough for just a small little project. But once you get to use it and see what it does, then like it, it um, gets sold in pints or gallons and quarts. Um, so you, you know, there's a large variety to choose from. So there's one coat, and I'm pretty sure. Now this is a dark, you know, piece underneath, but I'm thinking I'm only going to need about two coats of, of the Riverstone uh, because once that incorporates all together in there, um, it'll, it'll be really good. So here is, let me see if I can pop this in here. So it gives you a, some type of an idea. 
there is the color that's what the color is going to be all around and I will get this painted take some pictures and put them in the comments below for you guys but how about we choose a name okay you, are you ready okay let me grab let me grab my can oh it started pouring down rain here I can hear it on the roof oops I'm a mess today guys <laughs> I'm a mess. Sorry about that. Let me mix them up here. It's going to be so, it is going to be so pretty, Karen. I cannot wait to get it done. I'm going to try to finish this today because I'm not sure um, if I'll be here tomorrow um, to do like I. The next step I'm going to do is uh, some waxing or glazing or something. It, it's going to need something more. Um, but I'm not quite sure I have a treatment tomorrow. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do with that. So I don't know if I'll make it in tomorrow. So either tomorrow or Saturday, um, the next time I get in, I'll, I'll come back on and do another live. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm searching, <laughs> for, uh, searching for a name. Okay, I got one. And the winner, <laughs> you're not going to believe it. Karen Brown, you are our winner. I am so glad you're on with us today. Um, you are our winner of our little sample of um, the Riverstone. Yay, congratulations. You are one of my, just, oh, I love you to death. So um, I'm going to get that little sample sent out to you. I looked and I don't have one on hand, so I'm just going to order it or have them send it directly to you. So if you see something from the Real Milk Paint Company, you know it's actually from me. Um, but I, I they ship so quickly I think I'll just have them send it to me and then get it out to you because I still owe you something else okay all right you guys have a wonderful day um, stay tuned I'm gonna try to get back on hopefully tomorrow but if not tomorrow Saturday and if not Saturday um, I, I'll keep you guys posted okay all right take care guys and happy painting to all of you see ya